So this cabin door and sliding door, it's kind of tricky. A lot of people don't really realize it, but it'll lock open the open position. And to close the door, you gotta pull this down and then it'll slide shut and, and lock and close. And it, this is a locking door. Then inside the cabin, you got this seat here, this storage, and those are the propeller boxes um, for you to keep. If you gotta reprop it for some reason, keep all that together. Um, this back here is a wire chase, runs along the roof, up through to your arch for if you wanna run a radar, that's where you'll run all the wiring and stuff through. These are our own seats we built in house and seat boxes. We bought the suspension bases from Shockwave, of course. There's that box just has storage underneath. This is the battery box. There's two batteries underneath this box. I'm just charging them up right now because they're both, like I said, it's sitting for a couple months now. Night switch there, of course. Um, these suspension bases are fully adjustable. Um, there's some adjustment and stuff in, a, in an air adjuster here for the stiffness, depending on the weight of the driver or the passenger. And you can get uh, a pump, an air pump, to pump those up. And in this little foot box here, there is... I have all the instructions and everything in here that I'll be sending with you. A few extra little wiring goodies and that. And the little booklets for the seats and that. And then I'll explain the adjustment on the seats for the shock. And then this is just a little inspection panel for all the wiring and fuse blocks to tie you to. The heater is mounted up in, in behind here. This whole panel is removable. Um, I like to try and make my wiring as clean as possible and as tidy. Um, yeah. And then this little stereo is a Bluetooth stereo. So you can Bluetooth it to your phone and play your music. VHF. Just a little glove box over here. Here in this antenna is a AM FM antenna for the stereo. Nice big windows. These are your switches for your dash. These these two are accessory switches. Switches, they're not hooked to anything at this point in time. There's power going to them. So if you want to put in some accessories, you can put in accessories. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward there. These are your motor start and stops. Bilge pump, automatic is forward. Manual is all the way back. And then center is off, of course. And also in the glove box, there's a USB charging port for charging cell phones and whatever, GPSs, iPads. iPads, and here's another USB charging port here. Here, we integrated our cup holders into our seats. Um, this is the heater control unit here to control the heater. Trim tabs, of course, here. Uh, it's got a tilt steering wheel in it. So you just push this knob down here and your steering wheel will tilt. Depending on how you want to go. And then on the seats as well, there's adjusters forward and back. Back and then you just lock them back down wherever you want to set them at. 